In this video, I'm going to show you how to determine the number one indicator for rental demand by showing you how to calculate absorption. My name is David Monroe. I am a CCIM and I am a CCIM instructor and teach CI 102, which is advanced market analysis for the CCIM Institute. There are only 60 instructors for the Institute of a membership of more than 13,000 globally. So let's talk about how to calculate absorption. Absorption is the amount of inventory that's total rental housing units. That's multifamily, single family, townhomes, condos, all of it, all rental units that becomes occupied during a specific period of time, typically a year, but can also be a quarter or a month. So how do we calculate this? Well, it's pretty simple. You take the end of year occupied units, let's say December 31st, 2022, and we subtract the beginning of year occupied units, say January 1st, 2022, and that will give us a total number of absorbed units. If the number is positive, it means that more units rented during that period than went vacant. If the number is negative, it means more units went vacant during that period than were rented. We are only looking at occupied units. So you'd have to go to some resource, I use CoStar, to determine what were the occupied units at the end of the year or at the end of the period, if you're just doing a quarter or a month, and then you'd have to determine what the beginning of period or beginning of year or beginning of quarter or beginning of month occupied units were. Subtract end of period by beginning of period to get absorbed units. So this is the number one measure of demand. And it's really consumer confidence. So it's the renter's confidence in the market. That's what we're determining here. So if we take our end of period occupied units, let's say on December 31st, 2022, it was 991,430. And we subtract beginning of period occupied units. And we go back and we look at CoStar and it tells us that there were 955, 919 units during that period. Then we have a total of 35,511. So let's take a look at an example. So what this says is that there were 35,511 more units rented than went vacant during this period. Now we don't know how many total units went vacant and we don't know how many total units were rented. We just have a result, which is that number one measure of demand by the residents. So here's an example from CoStar. You can see that we have absorbed units here, units under construction and delivered units here. So if we have 2,710 units that were delivered to the market and only 517 absorbed, that means we still left over 2,200 or almost 2,200 units vacant in the market. That is an extreme slowdown in absorption and it shows that the demand is waning by the residents. If we look back to the first quarter, you can see that in the first quarter, they delivered 1,516 and absorbed 1,745. That is extremely strong demand by the renters. The renters were saying, there are more of us renting units than you're delivering vacant to the marketplace. The developers can't keep up with the demand. Here we have 950, now it's starting to slow. 869 units absorb from the 950 delivered then it goes really bad in the third quarter, 3,406 delivered and only 223 absorb. And then first quarter 2023, this was uh, taken about a month ago, uh, 922 delivered, 1459 absorbed. So absorption started picking up a little bit in uh, the first quarter. Really, it was January. It started waning in February and went real bad in March. Uh, we'll see what the quarterly numbers look like as we get there. But as you can see, there is a waning in demand. So the renters are saying, we no longer are demanding apartments in this market and the numbers show it. So this is the number one indicator 
for determining renter confidence in the market. Now, does this mean the renters are moving out or buying homes? Probably not. It means that they are doubling up or roommating up so that they can afford uh, these rents. Now, in the next video that I do next week, this is a brand new series. This series is called Multifamily How-Tos. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to determine affordability. In the meantime, if you want the how-to education to determine which market will rebound the fastest and be ready for the coming recession, all you have to do is click this link uh, that's below this video in the description to register for, my, for the free recording that I did of the Multifamily Demand Masterclass that I taught on March 20th last month. You can just go to strategicpartneringcommunity.com forward slash MF dash demand dash masterclass dash registration. Again, the link is in the description below this video. Please make sure that you like and subscribe to my channel. Ring the little bell to get notified when I do a video. And if you found this helpful, please share this to other people that you know so that they can get the real information about the fundamentals in the marketplace. That's one thing that's really dr driven me nuts is the gurus are teaching you pro forma because they don't know any better. They don't teach you the fundamentals. Pro forma will not allow you to survive during a recession. Underwriting with fundamentals will. So that's my goal. Teach you the fundamentals and we're going to do this in this new how-to series. So I will see you guys next week in the next video.